Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I will be talking about the L'Oreal Paris Crystal Micro Essence. I already have a video that I did, I think back in May, where I spoke in length about how to use this product and the packaging and everything. And in today's video, I am going to tell you about my experience with the product. I have been using it since March this year and uh, I think this video is going to be a very chatty one, so I'm forewarning you um, if you want to you can just uh, pause this video wait my cat just said something okay if you want you can uh, pause this video and go and get yourself a nice cup of chai or coffee because I'm going to be very chatty I, I'm trying to be very elaborate in this video um, I'll be talking about my skin I will be talking about my goals for my skin and how this product kind of comes in and how I use it. Um, I will also talk a little bit about the ingredients in this product and how I like to incorporate it in my skincare routine. I know this product has been spoken about a lot and you are already very well aware of what it does and the ingredients and everything. So this video is going to be a very personalized um, version of what I think about the product and how it it works on my skin all right so I hope you're ready with your coffee and tea um, let's start with how my skin is so for as long as I can remember uh, my skin has always been extremely oily and I have open pores I have a little bit of acne scarring and I also have active acne um, on my jawline and I usually get that before my periods and uh, whenever I'm PMSing I'm one day away from my period so you can see some active acne on my chin right now and my skincare goal has been to make sure that my skin remains oil free and when I say oil free I don't mean that I want to strip my face of all of the sebum no I mean that it does not get too greasy and I really want my skin to be balanced not too dry not too oily so I really want the sebum balance on my skin I want the moisture barrier on my skin to be intact I want my congested and open pores to be very clean because my skin is oily it's it really attracts dirt very easily and more than dirt it's your dead skin cells that actually build up and congest your pores so my goal has been in my skincare to always make sure that my pores are decongested and that they remain clean and that they are exfoliated at all times and make sure that the environment is antimicrobial and uh, because once these congested pores are infected that's when acne happens okay so that's basically what my skin is and what my skincare goal is so um, I have like four steps that I like to do in my skincare first is to cleanse my skin so in the morning I use a face wash and then in the evening I use makeup remover and then face wash which is double cleansing so that's my first step the next step is exfoliating and in this step I use a mild exfoliant um, which really makes sure that my pores despite the face wash cleaning it on a surface level I want my pores to be clean on the insides as well and I really want to decongest any sort of dead skin layer piling up any sort of dirt piling up in my pores and that's the step in which your micro essences will come in because it contains BHA uh, which is an exfoliant that not only removes the dead skin cells on the surface level but also because the size of the molecule is so small that it can go inside your pores and uh, decongested from within my third step in skincare is nourish and in this step I like to apply a hydrating moisturizer uh, maybe a serum first and then a moisturizer and then my last step the fourth step is protecting my skin and that is usually sunscreen right so these are the four steps I do not like to skip and when it comes to skincare you go from the lightest skincare to the heaviest right so you apply your micro essence 
first. So this is when I use the micro essence. I use it in the morning after I cleanse my face and then I use it in the night once I've removed my makeup and I've washed my face. If you want, you can use toner before using the essence. Um, I tend to get really lazy about my toner and I skip to uh, the essence straight away. It's actually very easy to use. You just pour a little bit of this liquid skincare. You pour it into your hand and it's very water-like very easily absorbed and then you just pat it onto your skin you do not need to use any cotton pad or anything just pour it onto your hand and then press it onto your skin like be very gentle on your skin it's very fast absorbing it penetrates deep into your skin layers and it keeps your skin really hydrated it makes sure that your skin is very radiant it looks glowing in the long run and it helps in smoothening your skin and that's because of the BHA that I was talking about which is salicylic acid so when I say it helps in smoothening your skin what I mean is that the top uh, dead skin layers that's piling up on your skin it really makes your skin congested it gives it that texture that roughness that bumpiness and the salicylic acid kind of eats away all of that not only from the top layer but from the pores like I said um, so in the long run when you're using it it really makes sure that um, your skin renewal process is faster and what happens then is that if you have any acne scarring or anything that also fades away and you will see visibly um, like the, the scars are visibly fading away once you use it. When it comes to skincare, again, another thing that I have learned is that you have to be very, very patient. It's, it's not a magic potion. Nothing is gonna show you results in even a month, I would say. So please make sure that you use something uh, for a month, 45 days, two months, and see how it works on your skin. And um, another thing also is very important is that your skin could be um, allergic to a lot of things in, in skincare. They could have natural origin, they could have synthetic origin, it does not matter. So always, always patch test. And to patch test, you can just apply a little bit of uh, the product right here and then just let it be for 24 hours. If you see any sort of rashes, redness, bumpiness, irritation, you are allergic to something in that skincare uh, product and stop using it do not use it like I said I'm gonna get very chatty and derail here and there because I have so many things that I would want to include um, as you can see I'm very passionate about skincare I've always wanted to learn a lot about what goes into your skincare products what does it do in your skin and so I really look deep into the ingredients and how it works on my skin so um, we already spoke about the hero ingredient in here which is salicylic acid but you also have other ingredients in here and one of the most debated one is alcohol so it has denatured alcohol in it and a lot of skincare products actually have alcohol in it especially products like toner um, aftershaves and stuff so what alcohol is um, in a skincare product is basically an antimicrobial addition it also is a solvent and alcohol really helps in improving the viscosity of any product so when you see something that is light refreshing and that really makes the product uh, very easily absorbed into the skin alcohol is there and one of the key um, characteristics of alcohol is that it dries out and soaks up any of the excess sebum or oil in the vicinity. So whenever you have anything oily or greasy and you apply alcohol on top of it, it will soak it all up and it improves um, and makes that surface really slick and smooth. So that's what alcohol does. and. Um, the, the purpose of alcohol in skincare is very very debated it is um, I have had first-hand experience with talking to a lot of um, really um, highly regarded dermatologists uh, both from India and abroad and I've had first-hand experience discussing with them uh, about alcohol because it's it's such a when you want to talk to someone who is a skincare expert you talk to them about alcohol in skincare because you really want to 
understand what it does and for some it really works and for some it might not and I believe that you the onus is on you uh, please do your research on what works for your skin type if you um, go back to your skincare products and really study the, the ingredients of the product that works for you I've actually researched a lot on the ingredients that goes into the micro essence and I'm gonna leave uh, the website that, that I studied from down below and they talk in detail about uh, what ingredients goes into it what kind of alcohol is used and how uh, it works in making the product really um, easily absorbable um, and how there are a lot of debates about how if, if the pros overweight the cons or if the con does not really work for you so I think the onus is always on you to really research well about what works for you uh, for me in the long run it hasn't really caused any sort of irritation rashes I do not see that my skin gets too dry at all uh, on the contrary it actually makes my skin really hydrated I do have one of the best skins that I have ever had in my life ever um, it definitely has uh, kept my pores really clean um, and I haven't been breaking out as badly as I used to and I really have been religiously using it if you see my vlogs um, I have shown that I use this I actually find it very easy uh, to use so I always reach forward to it it really quenches my skin it keeps it hydrated it also has other ingredients um, that are antioxidants and um, really helps in making sure that your skin looks really um, glowing from within I think I think the word here is radiant it really makes your skin look radiant and I will definitely be using more of this and um, what I find that it does for me is that it keeps my pore clean and that works really well with the goal of my skincare routine, right? And um, I think I'm using the 130ml one, but it also comes in three different sizes. We have a 22ml one, a 65ml one. The 22ml one is really good for trying and it's also really good um, if you're traveling. I hope we get to travel anytime soon, but you know, if you have to carry it along in your bag, then it's the perfect size. And you don't stop your skincare with the micro essence. Like I said, after using the essence, you go ahead and moisturize and hydrate either you can use a moisturizer after this your nighttime moisturizer when you're using this in the night and in the morning you can follow it up with sunscreen I like to use sunscreen every single day now that's something that you should not skip in your skincare um, so once you're done using the essence if you have dry skin you can go ahead and use a moisturizer and then a sunscreen and if you have oily skin if you feel like this is quenching your skin enough then you can go ahead and use sunscreen directly in the day and yes you have to use sunscreen even if you are not stepping out of your house or if you only sit in the office and you can use the micro essence no matter what kind of skin you have because it really helps in hydrating your skin it's very lightweight um, so it keeps the skin clean and radiant so if you have sensitive skin please make sure that you patch test like the way I suggested before and you can even use it for that um, another thing that this has is perfume and that's something that again is very debated for me um, my skin does not really react to any sort of perfumes and this has a very mild refreshing scent um, if perfumes are something that irritates your skin please make sure that you patch test and I would really again suggest that you understand how your skin reacts and if that's something that does not work for your skin uh, please avoid using that for me personally the perfume and the alcohol hasn't caused any sort of reaction no severe or minor reaction at all I just find this to be very water like that absorbs into my skin very quickly and keeps it clean and hydrated okay so that's something that I wanted to include as well so that's about it I really hope that this video was um, informative and I really wanted to have just an honest open chit chat about the product because 
a lot of people are talking about everything I wanted to make this uh, a lot more personal a lot more informative about the product so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this if you want to try it out yourself then I'm going to link it down below um, if you've tried it yourself then please let me know what you think about the product in the comment down below I actually watched a lot of videos talking about the product so let me know what you think and that's it thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!